As it's pancake day, we thought we'd do a video. Every year, people drop pancakes or stick them to the ceiling. But how do you perfect the pancake flip? Luckily for you, Science Nation is here with an ex pan nation. George, let's go. To find the best way to flip a pancake, we use maths, physics, and a group of hungry students. There are a few mishaps and a lot of different flipping techniques, but eventually we arrived at a solution. We achieved this by taking measurements of pans, arms and pancakes and then calculating angular momentum, torque and velocity. Then by applying conservation laws we arrived at this equation. Now it may seem a bit complicated but it is fairly simple. This equation tells the height to which a pancake must be flipped for it to turn over exactly once. Due to factors such as air resistance, this is only an estimation. However, our experimental data allows for this more simple approximation. L is the length from your wrist to your elbow and D is the distance from the handle to the far edge of the pan. For example, my forearm is 26 centimeters long and this pan has a length of 45 centimeters. Therefore, the ideal height to which I should flip a pancake is 21 centimetres. Or, if that fails, just use a spatula. Did you know, Sean, that the largest pancake ever flipped was 15 metres wide and weighed three tonnes? I did. But did you know that the tallest pancake stack ever measured was two and a half feet? Ooh, I did know that, Sean. But do you know the most amount of pancakes ever flipped in one minute is 117? Wow, great facts, but I did know that. Did you know that the most pancakes ever eaten in an hour was 73? Oh, I don't even like pancakes. I do.